this resolution, in fact, uh, is, is a statement against what's happening at the national level, at the geopolitical level, and stands in solidarity with the community here. So I urge you to please pass this resolution today. Thank, Thank you very you much. Thank you, I Simon. strongly recommend Ms. Savan to support CAA and Simon. NRC, do the best that is needed for Seattle and the United okay. States. Those poor persecuted minorities who are already staying in India for 20 to 30 years, did they get Indian citizenship? Yes or no? If the answer is no, then CAA is a policy made by Indian government to those poor persecuted minorities just like USA made special provisions to give citizenship to Jews during World War II under Lautenberg Act. Why Muslims are not included? Because persecuted Muslims don't want to go to India. So they are not that in that list. I have Bangladeshi Shia friend, Ahmadiyya friend. They also face persecution. Did they went to India? The answer is no. I want to ask Honorable Counsel, do you know how many religious minority people are killed, jailed and punished under the draconian Pakistani uh, uh, blasphemy laws uh, with atrocious scope of theirs? Does that not tell us a glaring story on Pakistan's minority rights and how they are uh, ruptured every day? Hence, I urge the Council to be laser focused on the laws and the spirit that we're discussing about and its intentions and not get drifted away with any preconceived impressions of India's current leaders, any prejudices formed, or any rhetoric based on a couple of new news articles. CA is truly humanitarian <coughs> move and we, Seattle, cannot be on the wrong side of the history. Opposing India's Citizenship Amendment Act, this law is a raw bigotry. Please don't do this. Thank you. Thank you. As a citizen of uh, an immigrant citizen of this country for the past 12 years, I'm here to speak against the resolution by Council Member Krishma Savant. Let me begin with a list of legal laws and verdicts the Council must go through to understand the CAA and NRC before making a call. The CAA is based on the Foreigners Act of 1946 and the Citizenship Act of 1955 and about six subsequent amendments in 1986, 1992, 2003, 2005, 2015, and as recent as 2019. Whereas the NRC is based on an act called an IMDT Act, which was Illegal Migrants Detention Act, or, uh, Prevention Act of 1983, and Assam Accord of 1985, and the Supreme Court of India verdicts of 2005, 2006, and 2014. I hope the council took the time to read, understand, and assimilate these acts amendments and laws before deciding to hear on this resolution. Today, right, we are here. We left our job, we left our home. We are here to ask something. It's called equality. So we are here to ask everyone here in the council to give us a chance. Listen to the people who came from far places. This is NCR, and why? I mean, if something is happening, it should happen to everyone. If it affects, so why are we are here today? If something happens to India, it should happen here same way how we feel the pain here. Today we are suffering. We should help everyone, including Muslims, Sikh, Hindus, everyone. There is opposition. Why they are supporting? I mean, we want to have a peaceful life like everybody else. I mean, like, like what's going on, what happened in India? Why? People come and go. We have seen so many Modis. We have seen so many people. There are so many kings, the presidents that come and go. But our values should remain the same. My name is Deepa Sivarajan. I'm here with the Coalition of South Asians who have come to ask you to vote yes. Everybody. Okay. Ma'am, ma'am, we are going to try to get to everyone. We're going to try. People, folks, what I've done. All right. We're going to have to, we're going to have to shut this down. Council Bill 119737, appropriate money to pay Sarah and claims for the week of January 20th, 2020 through January 24th, 2020, and ordering the payment thereof. Council colleagues, I move to pass Council Bill 119737, which is just the payment of bills. Second. <clears throat> it's been moved and seconded that the bill pass. Are there any comments? Seeing none, please call the roll in the passage of the payment of bills. Peterson. Aye. Sawat. Aye. Strauss. Aye. Lewis. Aye. Morales. Aye. President Mosqueda. Aye. Six in favor, none opposed. The bill passes and the chair will sign it.
Please read um, the report to City Council, item number one. The report of the City Council, agenda item one, resolution 31926, reaffirming Seattle as a welcoming city, expressing the Seattle City Council solidarity with the Seattle's South Asian community, regardless of religion and caste, and opposing India's National Register of Citizens and Citizenship Amendment Act. Wonderful. Um, this has been moved, uh, introduced by Councilmember Sawant. Councilmember Sawant, I'll ask you to do an intro to this, and I understand there's an amendment. Councilmember Sawant. Thank you, President Mosquita, and with your indulgence, I want to uh, make several remarks, and I uh, 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 appreciate in advance my colleagues uh, uh, bearing up with that. And also, I wanted to just add, as you said, uh, President Mosquita, that Councilmember Lewis has an amended version of it, which I'm going to support. Uh, but before that, uh, I want to make these comments. And also, if you uh, would let me make some closing remarks after others have spoken. Um, uh, hoping that maybe we can have the majority of the comments at the end for the closing, if possible. Go ahead, go ahead with what you can. Okay. Thank you. By approving this resolution, the Seattle City Council will show that the city's legislative body will stand with the widespread protest movement, courageously facing brutal police repression throughout India against the National Register of Citizens, the NRC, and the Citizenship Amendment Act, the CAA, which in tandem with each other, threaten to strip away the basic rights of hundreds of millions of people. By approving this resolution, the City Council will go on the record opposing religious persecution and Islamophobia, the discrimination, scapegoating and oppression of Muslims, poor people and marginalized communities by the Hindu fundamentalist regime of the Bharatiya Janata Party or the BJP and Prime Minister Narendra Modi. By approving this resolution, the City Council will show that we understand that the fight against the right-wing and bigoted agenda of the BJP and of Modi is not separate from, but in fact inextricably linked with the struggle of American progressives against the bigoted agenda of Trump and right-wing Republicans, that we cannot fight Trump's Islamophobic agenda if we also do not oppose the rise of the far right globally. Only late last week, the Trump administration expanded the Islamophobic and racist Muslim travel ban to include six additional countries. By approving this resolution, the City Council will urge the United States Congress to support legislation censuring the Indian BJP government for adopting policies that are discriminatory to Muslims, oppressed castes, women, indigenous and LGBTQ people. By approving this resolution, the City Council will draw a historic line in the sand, recognizing the ominous similarities between the NRC and the CAA and the early Nuremberg laws enacted by the Third Reich in 1930s Germany. Recognizing the credible news reports that the Modi regime has already put many people in the state of Assam in detention centers and that new detention centers and prisons are being built as we speak. According to these rules, According to these rules, someone like myself who was born after 1971 would actually be unable to provide the required documents. What the Modi government found through the pilot project they did in the northeastern state of Assam is that it is impossible to carry out the NRC without also rendering large numbers of Hindus stateless unless the BJP found some way to target it directly on Muslim Indians. That is the reason for the Citizenship Amendment Act, the CAA, which gives citizenship without documents to people of some religions, including Hindus, but specifically not to Muslim people. So, because I happen to have a Hindu name, even though I don't have the documents, even though I was born after 1971, I would still get my Indian citizenship under the NRC update, despite not having the documentation. The BJP government claims that the CAA is a humanitarian act aimed at supporting persecuted refugees and the NRC is nothing to worry about, but the experience in Assam proves otherwise. Also, if the CAA were truly about refugees, why is the regime building detention camps? Why doesn't it allow refugees to come to India instead of retroactively applying to people who immigrated before 2014? If the CAA allows it as Indian citizenship for oppressed religious minorities in three neighboring countries, why does it pointedly overlook the oppression of the Shia and Ahmadiyya Muslim communities in those countries? If it was support about supporting refugees, why does it exclude persecuted minorities in other countries in the region, such as the Rohingya people, who are predominantly Muslim, who are facing genocide in Myanmar, and the Tamils of Sri Lanka, who happen to be the largest refugee group inside India? 
Unlike Modi's BJP government, our movement, our movement truly supports the rights of all refugees regardless of their religions. Uh, and we do not support overt religious discrimination. I will close my comments for now and then Thank I would you. like to come in at the end. Thank, Thank you. you very much. It has been an, a tremendous community effort. And I also greatly appreciate the powerful comments from yourself and from council members Morales and Lewis. And I hope that this resolution's passage will provide inspiration for other legislative bodies like city councils and state legislatures to do the same as well. Uh, and I also wanted to add that such resolutions, as important as they are, will not be sufficient to defeat the Modi and BJP and Trump agenda. You know, we are facing similar questions as you all have echoed about uh, how, how do we defeat Trump? And there are lots of similarities. Trump and Modi even held an odious joint rally last year in Texas called Howdy Modi. Both Modi and Trump won their election not because their xenophobia and Islamophobia have majority support in either country, but because of the complete failure of the political establishment to address the needs of ordinary people. People who hate the BJP voted for them in the elections last year. This is the third and final warning. This is the third and final warning. Council Pro Tem. I, I'm, I would support you clearing the chamber. Go ahead, Council Member. Council Member Swan. Council Member Swan, please People continue. People who hate the, hated the BJP actually ended up voting for them in the elections last year because they saw no alternative after... All right. Do you want to continue? After, dec after decades of open corruption, all right. The chair has asked the meeting to come to order, and order has not been resolved. If you do not resolve this and come to order, the room will be cleared. I know folks want to hear this. The room will be cleared, or individuals will be asked to leave. Is there security present? Okay, council member, please continue. Security guards, uh, I will ask that the individuals who are yelling please be removed from the room. If they do, if they do quiet, they are welcome to stay. People who hate the BJP ended up voting for them in the elections last year because they saw no alternative. After decades of open corruption, privatizations, and neoliberalism by the Indian National Congress Party. It's okay, continue. You can wait. So you don't have to clear the room. I think they're leaving on their own. If you like our channel, please subscribe and to get notifications about news, please click the bell icon.